Okay, you need to graph exponential functions. I don't, I don't think you guys graphed in prior years. You've seen them though. All right, so look, the function y equals three to the x is called an exponential function um, because the exponent is a variable, right? It could be x or r or y or t or a. It could be any letter, but it's a variable. It's not solely a number. You can have an exponent that's 3x or x over 2 or x minus 5, but the point is there's a variable in the exponent, and that makes it exponential. Okay? All right, so now it's your calculator or your phone or Desmos. Um, so I'll type in 3. So if I want 3 to the negative 3, 3, I exponent that button, negative 3, it gives me, all right, well, it did that, 1 over 27, right? So my y value is 1 over 27. So what would be, what would be the point? Your point is your x value that you substituted. So negative 3, 1 over 27. Now, um, since you have to eventually plot these, even though the fraction is very much acceptable, you can go ahead and hit the decimal because 127, like how many of us actually know where that number is on a number line, you know? So 0 0.04, so if you were to make this 0 0.04, if you wanted to plot it then, it's like really like barely right, it's barely above. I mean, we're talking, I put it right here if you wanted to plot it. Go to the next one. Okay, so if I substitute negative two, y equal the base is three, I substitute negative two. Now, if you use your properties, right, I call it the reciprocal property, but it's the negative exponent property. You guys know you can reciprocal, move the base three down, the two exponent now becomes positive. And I just realized it's kind of far away. Um, and so you get what's one time, I mean, what's three times three, nine, but if you were to put it in the calculator, three exponent negative two, there's my one ninth, and if I want the decimal so I can plot it, it's 0 0.1, right? So one ninth, so my point is negative two, one ninth, or 0.1. So negative 2.1 is still like right there. Exponential functions, the graph is going to get very, very close to the x axis, but it will never ever cross it. And it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter and you have to zoom and zoom and zoom in, but it never touches it, it never crosses it. Okay, okay negative one, you substitute three to the negative one. Again, negative exponent or reciprocal property, one over three to the one, which is just one third. So one third, I know there's a lot of redundancy here. Um, or 0 0.3, so then negative one, 0 0.3 is a little higher. All right, you guys get the point? Yeah. So now y, three to the zero, anything to the zeroth power is one, so this is zero, one. Zero, one, and so here's now. And so this is your y-intercept there, zero, one. And so you can plug that in, three to the zero, and your calculator will give you the one, right? All right, so then keep going, three to the one, three to the two, 3 to the 3, throw that in, right? So this is 3, 9, 27, right? Oh, wait, I had a Q button. 3 Q. right, there's your 27. All right. And so this is just your point. What am I doing? 9, 3, 27. All right, so now you'll plot 1, 3, Two nine, 
And okay, 27 isn't gonna fit, so you could just leave that one out. Don't even bother going way, way, way up high. But your exponential function, you can put an arrow, don't cross the line. It's gonna keep going up, but that's an exponential growth function. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. Okay, so it says since the y values increase as the x values increase, meaning when x was negative, we would get a fractional or decimal answer. As the values became more positive, the numbers became also more positive, larger. This is what we call an exponential growth function. It's like bacteria, bacteria. You go into medicine. Um, Uh, eventually we'll, go, we'll do decay, that's also like, yeah, carbon monoxide poisoning, the way it leaves your body is also a decay, exponential decay function. Okay, so then here it says, in the exponential function, y equals 3 to the x, the y values are, can never equal or be less than 0. It's never gonna cross into quadrant three or four, okay? For this function. That's not always the case, because you can shift. You guys know you can horizontally and vertically shift. Okay, all right, here's this one that's new to you. Since the y values can never, ever, ever equal zero in this function, there is a horizontal asymptote. I don't know, have you guys heard that before? It's like, uh, I'll just put one S. S M totes. You won't put two S's, because that's like asymptote. Because that's like asymptote. It's really like two S's or like a Z. Asym, not as. It's like asymptote. It's like two S's. Okay, um, so an asymptote, this is going to be a really long video, sorry you guys. All right, I'm going to, whenever you guys see it, it'll be a dash colored line. So like here, the asymptote is this never crosses, y equal 3 to the x function will never cross y equals zero, and so it gets close. It gets very, 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 very close numerically, but it will never touch it, never reach it. And so that's an asymptote, and that's because it's a restriction. <coughs> Are you guys okay? Okay, let me just write this, and then I'll read it, and I'll leave it up on the screen. And I know this is a really long video, but it's only because you guys are getting everything. This is the definition of an asymptote. It's a function approaches but does not meet. It does not touch. Okay, and I know it's off screen, but um, we'll still talk about this a great deal. All right, so the domain is negative infinity to infinity, all reals, how you guys want to write it. Usually, you guys usually write these two. I don't really get students writing it this way. Um, the range is zero to positive infinity. This is a parenthesis, not a bracket, because of the asymptote, it's exclusive on zero. It's never gonna hit zero, so that's why it's a parenthesis. We'll do more of them, and so that's why 
Usually this range is usually if you're going to make a mistake, sometimes just out of habit you guys put um, a bracket because you guys were used to the, um, the range of um, quadratics, parabolas, and so that's why a lot of you will put a bracket, but just know for exponential functions, parentheses, it's exclusive, not inclusive. If I shut the video off, it'll clear, but then it'll go back up, I don't know, in like three minutes, because it's a long video. So keep it going or pause it? Just let it And you'll get a you'll get another one right now, and I'll just let you kind of roll around with it. Wait, what did I do? Bio though. Hold on. Sheets no. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, it looks like most of you aren't. 